Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Pikachu plush. The book that the pattern came from is this one. However, if you're just making this at home, and you don't have this book, then there are probably some templates online you can use. So I have the pieces already cut out. There's a front and a back. These two pieces for the tail, and also this little piece here. I'm going to be cutting out parts for the eyes from here. And then Pikachu's signature red cheeks, we have two secrets. Starting with the decorations, I drew on the eyes, the mouth, the limbs, and the little black parts in the ear with a sharpie. So, have our needle threaded, and I'm just going to sew on two little pieces of white felt onto the eyes. Next, I took the two red sequins, and I placed them right where I wanted them to go. Then I sewed them on. Got one done, and now we need to sew the other one. I'm going to take my needle, and I'm going to go through one of my stitches. Now that I've made a loop, I want to stick the needle through the loop and pull. Repeat this process. Next thing I want to do is to line up the brown piece with the yellow piece for the tail. And then, keeping the knot on the other side, I started to sew around. Then, I continue sewing around so that I could attach the two tail pieces to each other. Once you're finished, it should look something like this. Piece of the body that you didn't put the accessories on. Make sure that it aligns by putting them back to back. This is the side you're going to see. So I'm move the part with the accessories. Take the tail. Place it where you want to go. And then just start sewing along here. Basically what I'm doing is I'm doing an overhand stitch. What I'm doing is I'm going through part of this fabric and then going up through the tail fabric and repeating that all around the base of the tail and this is what it should look like now on the inside 
You want to tie a knot the same way by going through one of your previous stitches and a loop and stick the needle through the loop. Sometimes when you make knots, they can become a little tangled, <laughs> like this. So that's why we're doing it on the back, because it's going to be covered up and you're not going to see it. So no one will ever know what happened. So now you have to align both pieces. You want to start either from the side of this foot or the side of that one. I'm just going to start here. You can choose to do overhand stitch or running stitch, but I prefer to use overhand stitch because it leaves me some more room. Then keep going all the way around until you reach the side of this foot right here. Now, if you're almost done and you're finding yourself pretty much almost out of thread like I am, I would highly recommend to just go through one of your stitches and tie a knot now because trust me, it'll be so much harder to tie a knot when you have less than a millimeter of thread left. Trust me, I've tried this many times and each time it didn't really work. All set to thread the needle again. Alright, so I've reached the base of Pikachu's foot. Now it's time to bring in a big fluffy cloud! <laughs> no, it's actually stuffing. But it does look like a cloud. So, we're going to stuff it in through the hole here. But wait, the stuffing won't really fit in. Time for some help from a chopstick. Don't forget to stuff the ears. Once you've stuffed your Pikachu as much as you like, you want to take the needle again. Yes, I still left it in here. Don't forget to do that. And sew up the gap in the bottom. As you can see, the tail is kind of sticking out, so let's take some of the tail in there too. Just sewing a little over the tail. Oops. <laughs> now finish off with a knot. that is the finished Pikachu. I hope this tutorial is helpful and that you're able to make your own Pikachu now.